Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time to join me. And of course, we're gonna have a very in-depth conversation about money because this channel is all about you leveling up. Credit has always been the key, in my opinion, to opening doors for you to level up financially. Lots of people struggle with credit and they struggle for various reasons, okay? You know, and no judgment here. You know, sometimes it's mismanagement of money, payment history, utilization too high. I mean, things that can be corrected. Once you learn better, you can do better, right? But sometimes when your health fails you, you don't really have control over that. You know, you gotta see, uh, go to a doctor, seek medical attention. And with that comes bills. And many people have struggled with the bills. And that has hurt thousands and thousands of people's credit rating. But there's been some changes made recently that are gonna help you starting in the middle of 2022 and extending now into 2023 that are gonna help you raise those credit scores and get those credit ratings up if medical debt was one of the reasons that you have had some subpar credit ratings. Let's not take any more time, let's jump right into it. Vantage and FICO scores. Now remember, Vantage is the calculation that you see used on Credit Karma. And some people are saying, well, uh, I thought those calculations were it were just you know phony scores. They're not phony scores. It's a Vantage score and then you have a FICO score. And the Vantage score is actually what about 20% of lenders use to determine whether or not you will be extended some form of credit, okay? So that's just a little FYI. But let's look at how these medical debt collection changes are going to affect your Vantage score and then we'll look at FICO. So in the Vantage calculation, of course, if you've ever had injury or illness, you know what's coming after that. If you've had to you know, go to a hospital for care, you're gonna be looking at medical bills and a lot of people struggle with the medical bills and these medical collections have hurt people's credit reports you know, for years and years. But starting in July, 2022 paid medical debts will no longer appear on your credit uh consumer credit reports in the past this could have stayed on there for up to seven years okay also it used to take six months before the collections would start to appear now you get a full year before to satisfy these debts before it could potentially end up on your report also in 2023, January, so starting just within the last couple of weeks, uh, the Vantage 3.0 and 4.0 models will no longer consider medical collections for credit score calculations. Also starting in 2023, any collection that's under $500 will not be included on your credit report. Now, with all of that being said, the debt is still your debt. So you have to make sure that you satisfy that debt. So it's still your debt. Now, can these medical bills affect your credit? Well, we just talked about that. We know that they can. Some of the things that you can do to be proactive is to stay in constant contact with your medical insurer and kind of be a conduit between the insurer and the entity that's getting paid to make sure that these payments are made. All different companies have different ways of paying out. Sometimes there's delays. You just wanna make sure that it does not affect you negatively. So how long will these medical bills stay on your credit report? Well, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, you've probably heard the term, the CFPB, uh, is kind of the watchdog over credit in the United States. And Experian, for one, is saying that the collection of medical debt items are gonna have a lesser effect on your credit over time and the other credit bureau agencies, which this would include TransUnion and Equifax, have also recently announced major changes to how they are dealing with medical debt. So this is all a good thing uh, for you, knowing that you know this medical debt will not have the same effect on your credit rating as it has in the past. Now let's look at how the FICO scores are gonna be affected. Pretty much it's a carbon copy of what's going on with Vantage. Now, of course, FICO is stuff like uh, Experian. Experian, to my knowledge, doesn't have a Vantage score. Vantage is not used for Experian, only FICO. But it's gonna be 
Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion have, have announced that the same changes will take effect where as of July of 2022, paid medical collections are no longer gonna be on your credit reports and the time period before unpaid collections can appear is going to go from six months to one year so the same as vantage and they also are going to no longer include debts that are under 500 dollars. guys all of this stuff is great for people that have been struggling with this forever with something that they really just didn't have a lot of control over whether or not they got sick you know we're all you know made a little different some people live to be 90 and never get sick and some people have challenges with their health basically their entire lives but your credit shouldn't have to suffer because of this. So I just want to share that with you. That's great news that this medical debt will no longer be held against people in the fashion that it was before. If you haven't already, this is a great time to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell so you'll know when more videos like this are dropping. Our friends at YouTube think that this video right here that you see is the next one that you should check out. So make sure you check that video out. And until I come back with my next video, but now I'm 100% gone.